Head on into your local Dollar Tree and grab yourself some cutting boards. They have lots of different varieties to choose from, and I'm going to show you lots of unique ways of how to utilize them today. Hi, everyone. My name is Shannon, the Daily DIYer, and I also want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. These chopping mats are one of the best bargains you can find at Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of two and they're a good size at 11 by 14 inches. They usually come in clear, but lately they've been also coming out with colors, which is super fun, especially when you're going to be using them for crafting like I'm going to show you here today. They're a thin plastic, which makes them easy to be able to cut through with a regular paper trimmer or scissors or with our Cricut machine. I'm going to show you how to do that here today. We're going to be using one of their strong grip mats. These these cutting mats have a shiny side and a rough side. When you affix this to the mat, make sure you put your shiny side down. I am completely obsessed with my Cricut machine. I love it. I use it so much. But if you're new to Cricut, it's a smart cutting machine that allows you to create personalized projects with hundreds of materials. It works with software called Design Space that comes free with your machine. It's where you can create your projects and browse from hundreds of images and fonts. Once you've created your design, Design Space will send it to your machine to cut. I want to show you just how easy and simple this is. We're going to make a gift tag first. So I just typed in gift tag into design space. I also created a square shape in the size of the actual mat that I cut down and put onto my mat. And then we're going to scale that tag into that space so we know how big we need our tag. Then we're going to send this over to our cutting machine. I selected craft board, hit done, and then we're going to select the pressure. This one, we're going to up it to more. And we're also going to edit the tools. And instead of the fine point blade, we're going to pick the deep point blade. Now, of course, you also want to install the deep point blade in your machine, which is that black thing sitting in there. And then you hit play. It will go ahead and cut your tag out for you. I did cut mine twice, so it went through two times. And this is what will come out. This literally will be so easy and and simple to cut the perfect shape out of a cutting mat from Dollar Tree. How cool is that? And now sky is the limit of how you actually want to decorate your tags up. I'm going to show you a very simple way first. This plastic is the perfect surface to attach vinyl onto. So I'm just using a matte black vinyl for this, keeping it really simple, doing a to and from, and then using some transfer tape to pick up our vinyl and transfer it onto our gift tag. But of course, like I said, sky is the limit here. So you can decorate these up. Think birthdays, think Christmas gift tags, think teacher gift tags, and you can really personalize and make those gifts extra special. Add a little bit of ribbon in the theme or the holiday that you are giving the gift for, add it onto a gift bag, add it onto a wrapped gift. So cute, so professional looking, and it just adds that extra special touch. Here's another amazing idea. This is using one of the mint colored cutting mats. I actually found this tag in the Cricut Design Space too. It is a little mason jar. How cute is that? Same thing using the deep cut blade and it does such a clean, nice job and added to a mason jar. What a cute little gift idea. Here's another amazing idea. Instead of using them as gift tags, you can cut out little ornaments. So this is a kind of intricate design I found in Cricut Design Space. Cut out my ornament, weeded it out like normal, added a few extra little special touches like some ribbon, some holly berries, added a little string to the top and made my own custom ornament. And I'm not even done yet. Here's another great gift idea. You can turn these into key rings. So if you cut them out in a circle, you can add a little hole in the top. Instead of using them as a gift tag, add a little key ring to the top. And there you go. A wonderful, easy, inexpensive, but thoughtful gift idea. I would love to hear your ideas of how you would utilize these plastic cutting mats. So let me know down in the comments below. The other cutting board that is so amazing from Dollar Tree are their bamboo cutting boards. Grab these if you see them. They're basically like a really nice piece of wood for super duper cheap. So we're going to create a design for Christmas time. I don't know about you guys, but I love 
creating my crafts for Christmas time early so it's less stressful come the holidays. So this is a design on Cricut Design Space. I'm telling you there are so many amazing designs on there. Makes it so, so easy to create professional looking pieces. So I'm just using some matte black vinyl, attaching that on there using some transfer tape, centering it on the top of my cutting board using the squeegee to transfer it onto the actual wood. And then going back and removing the transfer tape from the top to reveal our beautiful design. So at this point, you can leave this as is. It makes a really cute wood sign, or we can take this to the next level and make it into a tray. These are my absolute favorite handles. They're only about $1.50. They're under $2 at Home Depot and Lowe's. I'm just hot gluing those on there. A little E6000 probably wouldn't hurt too to make them permanent. We're gonna come in with some black paint and fill in the holes because the actual screws that come with them are too long to go through the thinner bamboo wood. So this is kind of a trick. It hides the little holes. It makes it look Looks like there's screws there but there's not and then that's all there is to it to make your own little decorative piece for the holidays of course personalize this with your own name date change it out for different holidays such an easy diy and home decor piece these glass cutting mats are amazing too. This project is not only gonna be cute, but it's actually gonna be functional as well. I have a round one here, but you could do this on the square one as well. I found, an, again, another amazing design in Cricut Design Space, scaled it down, made myself a circle so I knew what size I needed to work within. And this one, we're gonna cut matte black vinyl again, but instead of using it as a decal, we're gonna weed out the actual design and use it for a stencil. So we're taking out all the parts of the design here. We're gonna do the same thing as we did in the last project. We're gonna transfer this decal over onto our cutting mat and we're gonna do that using our transfer tape. Just make sure you get it good and centered on there. A cutting mat like you see I have on my work surface helps here to kind of help you line it up so you can see through the glass, get it centered, squeegee it on, peel off that transfer tape and we're left with our stencil. Now the way we're gonna do this is we're actually going to do a glass etching technique. If you've never tried this before, absolutely do. It is so, so easy. This is Armor Etch. I will make sure to link all the products I'm using down in the description box below to make it easy for you to use or to find. Definitely try this out. It's so quick and easy. You take a popsicle stick, you're gonna put it on thickly over your stencil and let it sit for five minutes. Yes, this literally only takes five minutes. Then you can go ahead, take it over to your sink, Definitely recommend wearing a glove if you're gonna be touching the paste at all. You don't wanna get this on your skin. Kind of wash it off and get all that paste off there. After about five minutes, it's set, ready to go. Dry it off and then you can go ahead and remove your stencil. Since the vinyl is wet, it comes off really, really quickly and easily. It just peels right off of there. And then once it dries all the way, you'll be able to see your design. And it's a little bit hard to see on camera, so I did hold it up to the light to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. In person, you can see it a lot better. So here's with my rainbow light behind it. And then I did set it up in a cute little vignette so you could see it more in like a realistic look like you would with a kitchen with some cutting boards behind it. And you can still see that really pretty design design behind it. What I love about this is it's actually food safe. So you can actually use this as an actual cutting board. Dollar Tree also has these great decorative cutting boards. Now they're obviously not ones you can use, but we're gonna make it into a fun little container with the help of also using one of their trays. These actually were the very perfect size for this. You just wanna make sure you get a tray that isn't tapered anyway. It's just kind of square all the way around. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these three pieces together with some hot glue, attaching a cutting board onto the end of each one of the trays, covering up those holes on the end. So this is what we're left with now. We're gonna add a handle onto this too. I had some bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree. We're gonna use that for the top part here. We're also going to add some beads on here. So I needed to size and scale that down. So I'm just using some trimmers to trim that. I love these instead of using scissors because they don't ruin my scissors. I'll make sure to link those down below too. They're only like $5 at Walmart. So we're gonna use these beads. They're wood beads, but they're kind of caps. I'll link these down below as well. We're gonna use that for one of the ends and then we're going to add on some more wood beads. These are all one inch size. The actual wood beads are gonna go in the middle and then we're gonna cap the other end off again using some hot glue to hold that on there. 
So this is what we are basically left with after our building and we're gonna take this outside and paint it. Now you're gonna go along on a process with me here. This is a primer. These decorative cutting boards from Dollar Tree are kind of made of a chipboard and they have pores in them. So they don't take paint unless you're using like a chalk paint very well. And I wanna give this a metal look. So this is getting a couple coats of primer first. Then I'm coming in with a metallic silver. So I wanted this to have a galvanized metal look when I was finished with it. So the base color is going to be this metallic silver. I gave it a couple coats of that, making sure to get through all of those creek cracks and crevices. Then we're going to come in with this awesome spray paint. It's a hammered metal spray paint, which actually adds a really cool texture onto our piece. So I did two coats of that too, and then let that dry because obviously we have several coats of spray paint on there now, and this is what we're left with. So it has a really cool texture to it, but it doesn't look very real realistic yet. So we're going to rough it up and we're going to do that by using a sponge. This is one from Dollar Tree in their um, personal care area where their body washes and stuff are. And I use it to add some black paint onto the edges of this box. And then I didn't quite like the beads. I felt like they needed to stand out more. So I added some contrasting black paint to that, roughed them up with some gray paint to touch it up a little bit, give it a little bit more character. And then we're gonna add a decal onto the front of this. This says Farmhouse Kitchen, another design from Cricut Design Space. Obviously I love matte black vinyl. It's my favorite and it's what I use for most of my projects. And just adding that right onto the front. So now we have a beautiful galvanized faux metal box made out of two cutting boards, a tray and some wood beads. You can add your own kitchen supplies to this, salt and pepper, spices, uh, mixing things, kitchen tools, whatever you need. It just makes a really cute addition to your kitchen. Back into Dollar Tree we go. They usually have these cutting boards, but in white, and I love that they have colors now, and I'm so drawn to the color mint, and it is going to be beautiful once we do a little bit of work to it. I love copper at fall time. Actually, it's beautiful year round, but especially at fall time. And whenever you pair it with this beautiful mint color, it is just totally going to pop. So we're going to use this gorgeous, uh, copper vinyl from Cricut. I'll make sure to link it down below too. It has a beautiful texture to it. And this one, we don't even need our Cricut machine. We can actually just use our paper trimmer and cut this down to size. I just measured the inside of the cutting board, cut my vinyl down so it would fit within there. You peel the paper backing off and then just add it right down onto the center of our cutting board. So here's a little tip, make sure to kind of attach it at the top and then run your hand or your squeegee down to the bottom. That way you don't have as many air bubbles. You can go back over it, make sure to get all those air bubbles out so it lays flat and we have that beautiful textured copper finish now. Now we're gonna add a little stand onto the back. This is a back of a picture frame that I have kept basically for this purpose because you can actually use them and add them to other things to make them into stands, which is what we're doing with this cutting board. So I'm using some super glue and some hot glue on the back of this stand to attach it. On the center back of the cutting board, our hot glue will dry quickly, but it will keep it in place until our hot or our super glue cures all the way. Turning it back onto the front, we're gonna add this cute little clip onto the top, onto the front. This is also from Dollar Tree. It's a cute chalkboard with a little clip on the back. We're gonna hot glue that onto the center to make this functional. Once that sets up, we're gonna find a design in our Cricut Design Space. What I love about this is you don't have to send this over to your cutting machine. You can actually send these to your printer to print. So yes, there's even designs that are so cute, like quotes and holiday designs that you can then just send right over to your printer. So what we're gonna do, send it to the printer, but we're also gonna click off the add bleed. We don't want that on there. It'll make it thick and it'll be hard to read. So once you send it to your printer, it will come out like this. It'll have a nice border on it. You can either cut it out with the border around the edges or cut the border off, whatever look you're going for. I decided to cut mine off and just running it through my paper trimmer here to cut it down to size. 
then you can go ahead and just clip this right underneath that clip there. But again, this is such a great project because it's interchangeable. You don't necessarily have to use it for art. You could also put photos in there. You could change it out for the holidays and seasons. I love this and I absolutely love that mint color combination with a beautiful copper. Let me know which one of these projects was your favorite down in the comments below. And again, I'll have all the products that I used in today's video linked down there as well. I want to thank you all so, so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.